paint was thrown on <laughs> and you can see uh, how quickly I was painting actually using these strokes. I had some uh, music on for a bit and then I changed to listening to a Turner documentary and that was when I really felt like I could get moving. It's quite a dark bit there. That's where the ridge of the... No, it's not. It must have been just on the brush. I'll modify that. But basically, I've done the... the basic shapes using... Uh, well, I started with a Winsor & Newton brush and then I moved on to my Bob Ross uh, one-inch landscape brush which worked out quite good for softening everything and then I started throwing in light a lot quicker <laughs> and there's blue tints here and there and uh, I started to get a bit more of the shape and um, there's a lot more to do this is just really the blocking in of the shape of the sea and then I put in the sails um, there's a lot more to do there as well that's going to take longer to dry where this I did yesterday night and it's dry already it shows I didn't put a great deal of paint on to start with well not in all areas <laughs> some areas is a fair bit and, uh, and now I'm gonna uh, paint this bit basically it looks like this <laughs> except it's a little bit bluer than that uh, my printouts came out really warm so I'm gonna have to keep that in mind keep cooling the colors down to match the painting uh, but that won't be too difficult really you can always paint over what you've done and stuff so yeah so that's the challenge now get that bit in <laughs> to me this is the hardest bit of the painting the most detail is in this area and uh, once I've got this part done, um, it's plain sailing from there. <laughs> I need to paint that flag as well up there. And there's a flag that's going to go there. But this colour, um, this nice light of the uh, sail, I used um, a little yellow ochre, some something that I never thought I'd be using on a sale just uh, grab it flesh tint so a bit of a grotty uh, tube of flesh tint <laughs> but it's not something I would really use on flesh because it but it is a nice color for the uh, with some white to get that nice sail and I also used it in there as well sort of in a Sort of a yellowy orange and that flesh tint worked out quite good. So yeah. Um, anyway, I'm gonna focus my brain on this bit. Listen to some more documentaries probably because they work the best, <laughs> and then carry on painting, just enjoying it. I'm not gonna do a uh, a full video on this because it would just be too long. So. I've got to do parts. I'll just do updates. Maybe as I get a bit better, I can do uh, better videos. <laughs> um, or I'll just do some uh, hour long sketches or something. Because I do find it difficult to make a video when you do something this scale. So this is the best way I can find. And my little thoughts might help you if you're doing a big scale painting as well. I found using my finger in this painting has helped quite a lot <laughs> because sometimes I can't quite get the accuracy I'm after using my hand, I mean using a brush, sorry. Um, so I've been doing that. <laughs> um, I've got quite far, I've done these, this guy uh, this rudder, uh, rudder thing is needs redoing a bit. <laughs> There's a bloke there. I'm just they almost look like ghosts when I'm painting them in to start with. They start like that, and then uh, I need to start bringing them out. 
<laughs> and uh, it's been quite a challenge so far because I'm I've done quite a bit as you can see, but there is a lot more, a lot more to do, a lot more. <laughs> There's this chap that's here that I need to do, you can see where his head is, but I realised that I've got the angle slightly off, so I was just getting some uh, paint on my finger, I'm just going to run it down there, so I think there's a bit more dark there, or well, there is, looking at the reference, it's just that angle been really struggling with that angle there <laughs> but and all this needs a bit more darkness on it but I can work that um, getting things in position for me once things are in position then it's happy days I can always repaint areas and I'm about to put a bit of light there just to get closer there um, but yeah Things are coming on, slowly but surely. I've spent quite a while painting this actually now. Um, the beginning was a lot quicker, but I'd, I'd really need to get some of these areas, because like, this area needs to look closer to this. <laughs> well, that's what I'm aiming for. And then this guy here, you see, see the nice, <laughs> love that character there. Look how white he is. See how good uh, Turner was with light. We've got the light bouncing there, there, and then there. I think it's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Of course, the light coming there under his head, under the shoulder. It's got some really nice lights to it, and I've got to try and replicate that. But, um, all in all, I think I'm going to have to uh, call it a night. <laughs> even though it's daytime, but um, I've been spending quite a while working on this. I need to have a bit of a rest, but so far, so far so good anyway. I've not been able to film because, to be honest, it's too difficult to film because <laughs> I've been spending just so long on it. I spend uh, such a long time, I can't see how. Good film, really. Just been uh, listening to a documentary on uh, Moth Turner paintings <laughs> while I've been uh, doing the painting. Just putting the dark in there. Yeah, so they're both struggling. Lift someone out. I think I can see an arm in the water. I'm not too sure there. It looks like they're grabbing something. Something in the boat. I think they're grabbing something in the boat. Yeah, it's quite a uh, dramatic scene, this. But well, anyway, I'm going to, uh, like I say, I'll probably have a break now, whether I do any more, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I might leave it there. But it's looking pretty good. I'm at the point where the sun shines in here and it gets a little bit too warm. But anyway, uh, that's my update for today. Not too bad, I've done quite a bit. And then hopefully, get some more done tomorrow. So I'll say bye for now.